Hey y'all, Sniper Trader here. It is Monday, September 9th, 2024. This morning I did a trade on NASDAQ futures, the micro e minis. I'm doing a voiceover because this morning I just recorded with no audio, but I wanted to explain what all's happening here. So the market opened, and as you can see, we op we gapped up from yesterday's close. I'm using regular trading hours, so the extend hours is not showing. So here's the big gap. I drew a fib from yesterday's close to today's open. Fib's kind of hidden because it's hidden behind where I put open gap high and open gap low. But the main thing I want you to see is this is the 50% of the Fib level. That's my initial target. My ultimate target is total fill in the gap down here. And I actually probably got in early this morning I believe here in a minute I'll be turning on the uh, trading execution so I'm waiting for that to happen <clears throat> what happened is we we gapped up and I, it just looked like we were topping so I went ahead and got in and uh, I went short of course I think I did one contract initially and then when it went up a little bit I did another one and then I set one of my buy limits at this 50% level and one at the full 100% level. <clears throat> I think here pretty soon eventually we're going to see the executions maybe. This down here is a big uh, volume imbalance. I believe it was a weekly volume imbalance from way back when. Here it is, it's about to hit my first target. did add this stop in here I kind of use the midpoint of this big bearish candle there as my stop loss which would have been in profit and covered commissions and all that stuff so here we go I'm turning on that so as you can see I got in on like this is a one minute chart, that's like 9.32 is where I got in at. Which is a little bit early, but I was fairly confident that we were going to go down today. Which could have been a mistake, but it turned out it worked out. It's going to take forever to hit my first target. If 
never done a voiceover before, so I'm playing back my video with Windows Media Player. And then I am recording my screen while I talk over the video. So we'll see how that works. I'm really interested in the quality of the final upload to YouTube. Not sure if I can speed up the video on Media Player. I'm not real sure. Otherwise, I would speed it up. Been playing it safe lately with the micro E minis versus the regular minis. Because a month or so, I lost several thousand dollars trading the big boy ones and I'm just slowly building my account back up now with the, the minis plus we're in such a volatile time right now with all the economic data and rate cuts and all that stuff so I'm just basically playing it safe but I'm still following my strategy changing my stop to one instead of two since one already exited pretty much went right down and took me out or hit my target and I'm moving my stop just above this little swing high right here which actually turns out to be good thing I do get stopped out but I don't think it ever goes back down there or it definitely doesn't ever get down to my final target I don't think Yeah, this is kind of how it is. I don't really like to talk while I'm actually trading because I'm, a lot of times I'm walking away from the screen or getting coffee or whatever. I just, there's a lot of silence while I trade, so... Could probably annotate on the screen maybe might be better than having to come back and do a voiceover or whatever but we'll see how this works just takes more time I'm not sure people like silent videos especially when I'm not making notes on the screen or something to read to record my trade so that just to have it recorded like a journal and can go back and look at my strategies and what I've done in the past and stuff. Almost over. I think it's about to hit my stop. So I'll be totally out. I don't show it in the video, but my total profit ended up being $324.50 total with just two micro E-minis. I'll take that. That's a pretty good day for me. 
300 a day is about what I was making when I used to work for a living. And now, this is actually kind of a small day for me, but I'll definitely take it. And there it is, the stop out. Catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.